So in this video, we'll have a quick demo of the UNC path injection vulnerability, uh, which was recently discovered in the Zoom's meeting application. So here we have a scenario where I've created a folder named attacker. So let's assume this is the attacker system and I've created a folder named attacker and it is shared across a network. So this is basically a shared folder, right? So even the victim system can access this uh, folder and that would be possible by making use of something known as UNC path. So this is how a UNC path looks like. So for example, if I click on uh, run and try to access this path, as you can see here, it directly opens that uh, network share with folder, right? So now uh, I have also shared a binary over here, that's an exe file. So in our scenario, it's just a normal calculator but it can also be a real malware where the attacker is trying to target the victim uh, in order to compromise his system right so now the, the vulnerability lies specific to the zoom's group chat that is uh, how the zoom group chat renders the unc path link right so normally when we share a web link google.com so that's normally clickable and when we click on it, it makes it, it browses through the web page, right? So similarly, it's also happening with the UNC path. So when I click on this link, it directly opens the UNC path. That is, uh, so as we have already shared, this is the folder which is uh, created by the attacker and this binary is also hosted by the attacker, right? So what an attacker can do is he can actually share a link with the victim in order to make him execute this binary right the small way right so we can just always change this to localhost and uh, right so once the victim receives this message he will try to click on it and once he clicks on it the system will keep a prompt asking to run the file and once we click on run here you go so here the zoom application is actually uh, creating this process calculated of the right? the zoom application has actually attempt, attempted to run this executable so and this is the vulnerability which exists uh, in the UNC park so apart from this there is also a much more advanced version of exploitation for this and uh, that is using a SMB relay attack technique uh, so during which the attacker is actually able to compromise the or gain uh, the encrypted password of the victim's machine so normally the windows password is uh, encrypted in the form of NTLM hash so that can be uh, stolen by the attacker and if the victim's password is a weak one then there are very high chances that an attacker can actually crack that NTM, NTLM hash to reveal the plain text which again uh, shows us how important it is uh, to maintain a, or create a very strong password for our systems